Hello, and welcome to this video uh, with the Apache from the DCS series. Now, this module, along with some of the others, is one of the most beautifully recreated military flying machines that we have a simulation of. Currently, this includes the simulation of systems such as moving maps and global positioning systems, or GLONUS, satellite, aided navigation, among other things. All of this wonderful tech makes use of a database of points to navigate. Such points are available to the pilot and can be edited and created on the fly in game by the pilot, which will not have a database of point to rely on. All of this means that you have to input the coordinates manually uh, whenever you enter the game into a machine. And this can be a time-consuming process, and it's especially annoying to me. So, for example, so, for example, when you are in the Apache, you have to go to the F10 map, like I'm doing here, and we should be parked uh, somewhere around here in Nakura. And Say you want to create a couple of points as your targets or your waypoints. Now, now, what would be a good idea? Maybe these five points here. To create the five points, uh, what we have to do is go with the mouse cursor on the point, like so. Have a look at the top left corner of the map and take note of those coordinates. Now, maybe a mental note, maybe scribble them down on a piece of paper or something. Then go back to the cockpit, go in the system that you have, in this case the TST and the keyboard, access your navigation system and say, yeah, I wanna create a point and this point is gonna be like a target or a waypoint, waypoint in this case and then start typing away on the keyboard. And this would be your basic technique for doing this, for inputting points. Now, say you're in VR and you don't want to um, scribble stuff down on paper or your memory is bad as mine is, there is a thing that helps, in, uh, which is TCS Scratchpad, which is this thing, DCS Scratchpad, is nothing more, nothing else than a scratch pad. And it's used to note down things, ATC clearances, communications with others, uh, or whatever you wanna write. What you can also do is using that check mark, uh, which will bring up the lot long capture button. Now what that does is it brings up that uh, white dot on the screen, which falls exactly in the center of your map screen. Now, by clicking on the lot long capture button, you will know the coordinate where the white dot is pointing at in various formats, depending mainly, I think, on the aircraft you're flying and the coordinates it needs. Now, you can do this for the five points. So one, two, and three, and four. So you can go and do like that and have all your coordinates, then go back to the cockpit. And at least you don't have to remember all these numbers and letters, uh, and you don't have to write them on a physical piece of paper, which is uh, especially difficult if you're in VR. Uh, but you have, you have them here on your screen and you can go and do the procedure as we said, so point, uh, add waypoint or target or whatever you want to add and and input the coordinates and you will have your five points there now uh, what I want to do here is add those five points as five chord so coordination measures targets and threats here I've, I've already got four so they would be number five through number ten I guess uh, I could do waypoints, um, 
actually let's do waypoints as we got like a blank list to work with so either you add them as we've seen or you use another uh, application now let's uh, let's see this application and it's called uh, DCS waypoint editor now uh, how does that work uh, that is something quite magic so once you download the application and you get it from its website um, and install it you're gonna launch it and it's gonna look like this now looking like this uh, it will let you select uh, what type of aircraft you have what type of waypoint you want to create if you want to put them in a sequence uh, this is for example available in the f-18 uh, not in the apache uh, preset and region i usually uh, i've not been using them a lot and then you have three commands that can be um, assigned to hotkeys that are pre-programmed by default now the hotkeys are the capture hotkey that is this control A here. Um, capture F10, F11 hotkey and send to aircraft. Capture to profile, it will work in 2D. It will not work in VR because it, it needs uh, the map and the mouse cursor to be on the same plane of rendering, so to speak. So it doesn't work in VR. VR works with this mode here, capture F10, F11 hotkey. So just go into the application settings. You don't see the menu here, but you will see it when you have it installed. Go file settings. Uh, it will open up this window here and have a look at what, um, what keys these functions are bound to. So once, once we had a look at this, all we have to do is go in the F10 map and start working to get these coordinates as our points. Uh, now, the issue here is, as we have seen, uh, let, let us go back to the thing. As we have seen, there will not be any anything that tells us uh, what is the exact center point of our map screen. So we will not know if we've placed our map exactly on this West Village hotspot, so on and so forth. So probably what we will want to do is give it our best guesstimate. And the waypoint editor, the DCS waypoint editor doesn't provide such a facility, but we have just seen something that can provide that, and that is this thing. So DCS scratchpad, will plot that white dot for us. Now, we will not need the scratch pad, so I usually um, go and minimize this to its uh, title bar and then move it out of the way somewhere. And if this is not selected, you just have to select it. And then you have your white dot. Now that you have your white dot, you're ready to capture your points. So as we've seen, I have the uh, capture key mapped to control A and capture to uh, F10, F11 map uh, mapped to control shift A. I will bring up the, the thing so you can have a look. So what I will need to do is click control shift A to invoke uh, capture to F10, F11 and then start capturing. So there I go, capture F10, F11. You heard that blip. That means the software is working and you can see it uh, with the two buttons here that have uh, gone gray. And then I can go capture with control A. So say I wanna do West Village, S Village, and these two have been captured already, but we'll do them anyway. So East MSR, Compound, in southwest village so that's our our capture now once i've done that i'm gonna press again the capture to f10 f11 uh, button so the software goes back into its normal mode you will see the the buttons have um, have gone 
normal so to speak and I will go back in my cockpit because I want to get ready to load these points uh, where they belong so to do that we've seen the hotkey is Control alt a in my case uh, yours might differ when you install it so I just go Control alt k and you will see the send to aircraft button has gone uh, gray and it should start sending those coordinates to the keyboard and it will work between the uh, multifunction display here the TSD and the keyboard to load those points so we leave it going until it's done and it looks like it's done let me go into proper PR now and let's and when it's done the software you see it goes back to uh, to its normal self so to speak so let's go and have a look at the TSD and see if that effectively has um, wrote the points we want into the into the TSD so let's go to pan and the points should be somewhere to the north which is here there you go so we've created waypoints uh, not targets but that's uh, that's that's about it so that's uh, that's and, and that's how it works see that's exactly the location of those four villages now if I select the map background maybe um, yeah clean it up a bit and if I go to the F10 map and select the map as the map background you will see that they're in those exact locations where we have programmed them so that's how it works simple as it is the the biggest hurdle would probably be installing it once you've installed it and configured your hotkeys that's what you get left with an easy to use powerful tool to load waypoints into your navigation system as it should be and this is about it i hope this video this explanation uh, helped you in understanding how to use and what the software is for which is uh, the one thing i struggled with uh, and i will see you in the next one have fun and fly safe